a brand new trail camera that comes with a Wi-Fi remote? Let's check out the Rinkmo Wi-Fi 810 trail camera. So as I just mentioned, I am checking out the brand new Rinkmo 20 megapixel trail camera. It's model Wi-Fi 810. This trail camera has a 120 degree angle lens and is capable of taking 20 megapixel stills and video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. It's advertised as a 0.2 second trigger speed, which is extremely fast, and it has an IP66 waterproof rating, which is one of the best you can get in trail cameras. It supports micro SD cards up to 64 gigabytes, and it's Wi-Fi enabled. That means between the Wi-Fi of this trail camera and the free app you can download, you can view your photos and videos from a distance from the trail camera. I'm gonna be checking out that Wi-Fi, uh, downloading the free app, walking you through that. But first, let's check out what we get with the trail camera. So of course, we get the manual with it. We have a USB cable, a supplied tree strap, and a remote to turn your Wi-Fi on and off. So the Wi-Fi capabilities of this new trail camera is exciting. It ought to allow us to access the photos and videos that are on the micro SD card. And it's also gonna allow us to adjust the settings uh, just by using the app on our smartphone. So let's check out the Wi-Fi. So I did drive out here. I have the trail camera mounted uh, to the tree and I have my Wi-Fi remote. Uh, I want to go over quickly why I think the Wi-Fi function uh, can be a huge benefit and where I see it uh, excelling. Uh, if you've ran trail cameras for any amount of time, you know when you place the trail camera and each time you come and check the SD card for photos or videos on the trail camera, you're leaving a certain amount of human scent and uh, to wildlife uh, this can be a threat and it can actually uh, be a detriment to picking up additional photos or videos the animals come by if they smell it they can spook a lot of people see uh, trail camera photos or videos of the animals spooking they think it's because of the trail camera or the lights on the trail camera some of that may be but a huge part of that is your human scent that you leave behind. And the more frequently you check your trail cameras, the more frequently you're leaving scent. Um, it's been my experience over the years that if the longer you leave the trail camera in between checks, it seems the more and more activity you're picking up. And I think that directly correlates with the amount of scent that you're leaving there. So with all that said, here's where I think the Wi-Fi function really comes into play. Uh, I wanna demonstrate why i simply drove up here along a field edge in the woods where the trail camera is mounted i can turn on uh, the wi-fi option with the remote uh, you wait till the red light comes on that red light turns to blue blinking you're then ready to open up uh, your smartphone attached to that wi-fi that that camera is admitting uh, and then open up the app when you open up uh, the app you can simply go into the device photos uh, when you click into there, it's going to give you a thumbnail. You can just simply uh, scroll through these thumbnails, uh, choose whether you want to view them here on your smartphone, or you can download them to your smartphone. So all of this can be done at a distance from the trail camera. Now I have been testing this and it is not as good as what your home Wi-Fi would be maybe per se. Right now, I'm maybe 20, 30 feet away from the trail camera. It seems to be a good distance that it connects pretty easily. Uh, you go a whole lot further, uh, it has trouble connecting and you don't have a very good signal. Uh, so you do have to be fairly close. It's not like you can be 100 yard away and connect to it. At this point, I just simply drove up here. I am leaving no scent because I'm not touching the trail camera whatsoever. I can download everything that's on that card uh, directly to my smartphone. I can delete the photos then on that trail camera uh, to have a complete empty card. Uh, I can go through all the settings uh, on the app. I can change any setting, whether I want to take photos or pictures, uh, the, the quality of those. I can do the, the delay sensitivity every single setting that's available on this trail camera i have here to touch my finger and i can change right now uh, since i'm connected with wi-fi so that's where i see the wi-fi option uh, being great uh, and even if this was in the woods and you're not driving up to it maybe you're walking 
walking past it. You don't have to walk directly up on it. You use your remote, uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, and uh, look at everything that's on the card and download them if you prefer uh, right onto your smartphone. So that is the Wi-Fi function. I think that is the big selling point, uh, or at least it is for me not having to touch that trail camera. I'm not leaving any scent here. Uh, that, that's a great option. Well, another thing I wanted to touch on is uh, with the Wi-Fi and the app is the live view. Uh, you can simply click on the live view and you get to see exactly what the trail camera is seeing. Now this makes it extremely helpful when setting up the trail camera. Uh, you can adjust it left or right, up and down. You can walk out the trail where you expect the wildlife to be. Uh, you will never have the camera shooting too high or too low. Uh, maybe you don't see the, the tree limbs or anything in the way. Uh, this allows you to get a live view. You can simply walk around uh, with your smartphone and see exactly what the camera's seeing. Come back, adjust it some more. It makes set up a breeze. Uh, that's another great function that you don't want to overlook. I want to do a sound test uh, with this trail camera. I'm about 20-25 feet away from the trail camera and I'm speaking. Uh, this should give you a good idea how well the microphone picks up uh, audio uh, and how clearly you can hear me. So this is the audio test uh, for the Rinkmo Wi-Fi 810 trail camera. The sample photos and videos are coming up next. Well, I have showed you the sample photos and videos I've gotten from these trail cameras. It is soon time for my final thoughts where I'll go over the pros and cons that I see with these trail cameras. But first I want to touch on uh, the remote control. Uh, you can pair this remote control to more than one trail camera. You might be running two, three, four different trail cameras around your property. Uh, you can learn this remote to each of the trail cameras and although they each come with their own remote, uh, you can simply use one of the remotes and sync them to every one of the trail cameras. Now you can only hook one trail camera up to the app at a time uh, to retrieve or to look at the photos or videos from your smartphone, uh, but you can learn the remote to as many trail cameras as you would like. Uh, so that'll be very handy if you have three or four trail cameras uh, spread across your property. Uh, you can just carry the one remote and turn the Wi-Fi on and off to each camera as you get to it. So that's a handy feature that I've found uh, when running numerous trail cameras on your property. Uh, one remote will be fine. So now let's jump into my final thoughts uh, where I'm going to give you the pros and cons. 
Uh, let's start off with the pros. Uh, as you saw in that sample photos and videos, I think the daytime photos and videos are very good quality. I uh, had zero complaints with that. Uh, we'll get into the nighttime photos and videos here in just a little bit. Uh, so that's a good pro. The Wi-Fi worked great for me. I really like the Wi-Fi option. Uh, allows you to get and check your photos and videos on your SD card without actually touching the camera or without actually pulling that SD card out of the trail camera. Uh, using the app and the Wi-Fi I think was a great option. And I really enjoyed using that feature. The next positive that I wanted to touch on is its compact design. This is a relatively small trail camera. It has a good uh, camo pattern uh, with nice serrations here over the IR, uh, no glow bulbs. Uh, so I think the design and compact design is a very nice feature. Also, it has the external power port. It's a six volt external power port. I like having external power ports. Uh, I like to use a lot of solar power. So the external power port is a plus in my book. Another thing I want to touch on is the audio. Uh, the audio that's included with the video, the microphone did a good job. Uh, as you could hear in my audio test, I think it's above average uh, as far as a lot of trail cameras that I use. So I like having good audio and this trail camera passed that test easily. So now on to some of the cons that I would pick with this trail camera. And uh, the first glaring thing right off the bat is the strap that's included uh, with the trail camera. Uh, the trail camera each comes with a tree strap uh, that you can mount it to a tree. It does have an optional quarter 20 on the bottom and I do have this one mounted with that quarter 20 thread. Uh, but the only real way that you can attach this when you buy the trail camera is with this tree strap. The tree strap is way too short. Uh, you can barely get it on any tree. Uh, unless it is a very small sapling, uh, this strap I don't think is even three feet long total. So it really limits you to probably an eight or ten inch round tree uh, to wrap your strap around. That's a huge con in my book. You honestly are going to have to uh, figure out another way to strap it or have your own strap or use a rope or a string or something because the strap that's included with this trail camera is almost useless. Another thing while I'm picking on the strap uh, is this chrome buckle. Uh, they do such a great job camoing the, the camera, keeping it compact so you can hide it. And then the strap has this bright, shining chrome. Uh, it is metal, uh, but it's chrome and shiny. You do not want a chrome, shiny buckle uh, on the strap. That has to be a matte colored or painted black or something. So that's another huge minus. Uh, on the list uh, with the strap. Another thing I do want to touch on that I would consider a con is the nighttime photos and videos. They're usable, they aren't the worst I've ever seen, but I'm going to put it as a con for this trail camera. Uh, they have to do a better job uh, with the quality and the IR distance. Uh, as you can see in the sample photos that I got, uh, I had a wide range of uh, samples that I showed you there, and the night pictures and videos all suffered, I would say. Uh, pretty grainy, if the animal was moving at night, there was almost always motion blur. Uh, and the videos at night, if the, the animal was close to the camera, it picked up pretty well and, and did an okay job. Uh, but if it was out 20, 30 feet away from the trail camera, it really suffered. Uh, the IR bulbs just did not reach out there very far and uh, left you with uh, hardly being able to see what the animal was. So. That's a con. Uh, the daytime photos and videos were excellent. Uh, nighttime, not so much. So those are my final thoughts. The pros and cons that I see with the Rinkmo Wi-Fi 810 trail camera. Pretty neat feature having the remote and the Wi-Fi. I'm really uh, liking that. And I think as this technology develops, it's going to get better and better. And the distance away from the trail camera will probably improve also. Uh, but this was my review. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comment section. Uh, check out the description section. There's going to be a lot of information. There'll be a link uh, to these trail cameras. And there'll also be a link to a specific video on how to link uh, your remote to your trail camera. Uh, and also how to download the correct app for this trail camera. That's all going to be down in the description. So check it out. There's lots of information down there. Uh, that's it for today. I appreciate you watching. We will see you in the next video.